All right, from here, there's a nice little maze-ish thing, and we'll go over to the left here, and right around here, if you look, wait, not there. Sorry, it's up, it's up one from here. And then you go up to here, around the corner, and around this corner, we see a treasure chest, which has Old Book 7. Of course, we go on to the other side of this place, Generally, I use the middle as a orienta orientation point. And from here, we go down one, across here. And this is the reason why you need Mizuki, because if you go talk to this lady here, without her, she won't talk to you. And she's Kate. So we get another ninja in our group. See, all right, three ninja. And unlike the movie, it will nowhere. It will be nowhere near as bad or as cheesy. And apparently, she was under contract, and they blew up the place when she was here anyway. Huh? Well, aren't ninja expendable? I mean, really. Well, that's nice of you. <laughs> oh, so you're like Shadow in Final Fantasy VI. Well, then come with us. There's nothing else to do here. And now we have Kate. So, we're done here for now. So let's take ourselves and go after another star. Well, actually, we'll go out there several stars. That's right, we're still on a star search here. From Mordo Island, this is probably the best place to do it from. It's a nice vantage point, and it definitely takes you to where you need to go. Well, it's the quickest way to where you need to go. So, from Mondo Island, we go straight west. You see this little, ah, damn controls. Uh, westward, we'll be going to a uh, familiar place. As you can see, it's roughly around here. As you can see, oh, this place looks very familiar. Whoops. There it is. Sorry, came onto the wrong edge of it. And also around here, there's actually new enemies. Yes, I know, it's weird, isn't it? They've added the Metal Crab. Now, this one is lightning based, so it actually takes a lot more damage from Earth Attacks. And it has uh, 1200 HP. And as you can see, I switched out Chipu with Vicky because I wanted a better caster. And now we'll use Earthquake, since it'll be our first major Earth spell we can use. And Vicky has the Blinking Rune, which is. Now, many people think it's an actual true rune, but it's actually not. It's, there's no indication that it's actually a true rune. It's a very special rune, yes, but not a true rune. There's 27 true runes, and that one's probably not one of them. As you can see right here, we're going back to uh, the deserted island we were at. So long ago. And Vicky's, um, Vicky's rune actually has the, well, her set ability is 200 damage. And as you can see, we've gone back into the cave to talk to Tatsuki. Of course, we go over here, talk to this guy who's stuck in here. Oh yeah, getting him is probably going to be one of the most annoying things you do in this game. Because of all the back and forth you gotta do to do it. Because now we gotta leave. And he left his clothes at the entrance of the cave. So we have to go to the entrance of the cave. And look over to here, as you can see. No, they weren't there when you first came here, so don't even ask. And we go back into the cave. 
and give him his clothes. Now, you would think that would be the end of it. But no. That's right. And when he means way outside, you have to go all the way out of the cave before you can do it. Um, the enemies in here are the same as you were when you first got here. So they're pretty much easy and just auto kill them. You have to go all the way out and all the way back in. And now he's fully dressed. And he will be our guy who gives us a bathhouse on our ship. Sure, why not? It's always great to have a bathhouse on a ship. So, now, most people accidentally just leave our here, but if you leave out of, go out this section, and then come right back in, you can get another star. Just turn right around. You don't have to leave out of the cave and come back. This is, and this star, of course, is easy to get. It's another mermaid. The third one. Lee Lin. Alright, and now we have Leland in our party. Three mermaids down, two more to go. Now we're going back to Mordo Island to get another star. From the island, we'll be going east and a teensy bit south, but definitely east. Just pretty much say east. And we'll be traveling around here. Now this has something to do with the message in the bottle. As you can see, there's some island, some small islands. Uh, this one over here looks to be somewhat donut shaped. As you can see, directly east, but slightly to the south, needs to be donut shaped. Of course, we get into a battle because there's also new enemies around here. Pretty much speckled rays and the spine geckos. And also a new one, the Demon Hairball. They have 250 HP, and they have a fair amount of they have a fair amount of magical damage, but they usually don't do it. But still, the main threat is definitely the spiny spiny gecko. And her, um, as I said, the other two abilities that she has are mostly teleport the enemy out of battle. And with those out of the way, we can get ourselves to the Donut Island. We'll get it right here. And now we can make landfall. And we come out to our next star. Um, there are enemies here, but they're mosquitoes and they're extremely weak. Pretty much, if you can make it here without much trouble, these enemies here are just a joke. And now, as you can see by what she's telling us, she's known for finding buried treasure. That's right. She's our lady who's going to be able to translate our maps so we can go get some buried treasure around the world. Well, or at least around the, uh, the archipelago. Renee. And we get a treasure map from her. So even if you haven't been looking for them, there's one right here. That's right, Ship of Oval. 